Week 7, personal record, oh. possibly last podcast ever. Nah, surely really? we'll make a few more until until like our Run fantasy teams start getting destroyed. Well, that'll, yeah, and the, week 2. And the rules start pissing us off. Week 3. And then we'll probably bow out. Cowboys probably falter, lose four on the trot, and then it's me gone. Oh, jinxed it. Jinxed right. it already. Um, so, team lists. We'll start with the Eels Storm. Thoughts? How, how the team's looking? Who are you thinking? Yeah, so obviously the team list came out on Tuesday, as they normally do, 6 o'clock. Um, I think the Eels Storm game is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, um, we could shape both their seasons, I reckon. I wouldn't... I wouldn't go that far, but it's going to be interesting, especially from a Storm perspective for me, because obviously they've got a lot of a lot of guys out injured. Um, yeah, the Eels do too, though, to be fair. Their, their back row looks f- kind of fucking disgusting. Their back row, I didn't realise how hammered it was, but... Um, Bryce Carwright starting tells you a lot. Yeah, and, and they're on the ropes. And Matt Dory. <laughs> Although he's up against fucking big Trent Lorello, <laughs> so what does that tell you? Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, Storm's backline especially is interesting. You got William Warbrick um, starting on the wing with Xavier Coates, and then in the centres you got Remus Smith and Young Tunamopea. An absolute journeyman is Young Tunamopea. I don't really hate it to be honest. I kind of do. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. R- Obviously, crazy. with Peppers in there, it's a lot better, but. I don't hate it. It's, it could be worse. The glimpses I saw of Warbrick in the trials, he looked really good. So he's one that I'll be keeping an eye out on. Yeah. Uh, even I say that even though I, I will not be watching the game at that time. Of <laughs> <laughs> um, we've discussed before, I'm not a big Nick Meany fan. I don't really rate him. Um, yeah, so. He's alright. He's just no Peppers. You can't, you can't follow Peppers, but he's still solid. The other super interesting um, player for me is Elias Akatoa for the Storm. Yeah. Yeah, really interested to see how he goes. I wonder if he'll start once um, Tarek Sims is back, or whether it'll be Trent that makes way for him. I'd say it'll be Trent. I, yeah, I, I, I don't think. know. We'll see. Katoa. Like, I, I hate Wee Shard. He is a little Wee Shard, and I don't... I don't like him. He should not be on the bench. I wouldn't say I hate him because I haven't seen tons of him. He's got a weird face and he's just not as good as he should be. (laughs) Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's That's fair. That's as good as any reason to not (laughs) like a guy, I suppose. Um, Jermaine Hopgood at lock for the Eels is interesting because he... I think he's got pretty big reps and he hasn't been bad. He just hasn't really had much opportunity yet. Yeah. It's interesting to see how he goes. First opportunity starting. Um... And in ter- in just in fantasy news, and we'll touch on fantasy a little bit down the track, but um, yeah, people are saying he might be a good pickup. Yeah, it's tough though because you don't know again if he's gonna lose those minutes to the returning guys. Yep, that makes things trickier for sure. But uh, I don't know. Indications seem to be that he 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 will keep playing. Uh, who's the who who are the Eels back rowers who are out? Yeah, you're missing Madison. Nathan Brown, Sean Lane, so those those three alone could be the starting back row potentially. You don't, you never know. Yeah, Nathan I don't Brown think I don't think again. Brown, but Madison definitely is a big loss. And Lane, um, Lane's Lane, surprising. He really surprisingly pretty good. Yeah, he really kicked on last season. So um, yeah, two big I've outs gone, for the Eels. I'm edging Storm for the win, but I still don't think they're going to be really good this year. But it was a weird Eels could either be again top four or they could be. Just dog shit. I've unbelievably gone for the Eels. Mm, nice. Uh, Warriors Knights, the next game. I'm pretty excited for this one, actually. I think the Warriors have named possibly the worst team list they could have. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm still interested in it. And I was initially going Warriors, but after seeing that centers pairing, I really can't back them. Yeah, it's horrible. Braden Liami might be one of the worst NRL players to ever, ever touch grass. He never showed anything in any NRL game before he left, yeah. and how he has made his clawed his way back is well and beyond me. Starting spot, and then he's alongside the Pompasaurus Rex, so he's just absolutely fucking woeful. Yeah, I don't, I don't like what I've seen from him so far, and even like you question why I mean, Vilea is at least showing a little bit, at yeah. least an attack or. Big Ed, you know, there's there's plenty of options. They could have had Montoya in centres. They they could have done anything but this. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it at all. Um, um, interesting, the halves pairing. Kind of annoyed that um, 
Metcalf Metcalf. isn't there whether it's because of the injury he picked up in trials I'm not sure but I don't like yeah it is starting he's out for a while Metcalf. oh is he yeah. okay well that's that's okay then that's probably the best pairing you could have made if that's the case yeah so disappointing though I was really looking forward to seeing what Metcalf could do out there I was pretty certain he was going to be named in the starting lineup well even that one trial he just shredded I can't remember who they played but he was just shredding Tigers them. Might, yeah it might have been yep Yep. Um, so I would have been more likely, like, uh, I think I would have preferred a center pairing of, like, say, Nukore and Dylan Walker, even maybe. Although I do like yeah, Walker's. Walker's got off the bench, though. His impact he, off the can kind of play anywhere. interchange is pretty solid. But that, that center pairing is just too weak for me. Um, yeah. And I actually thought it was going to be a pretty tight contest um, on, on first inspection. I think it's going to be super high scoring, regardless uh, of I actually, the actually, I've kind of done a. 360 like I thought at first the Warriors would do quite well, but looking at them on paper I think now I'm convinced the Knights are gonna destroy yeah, them. Yeah, I, I do like Jackson Ford starting um, yep, he's, he's so saw, I, He yep. had really good trial showings and he was always pretty good at the Dragons He just needed a bit of opportunity, but really? the bench is kind of baffling to me I don't know about Josh Curran not starting is the only other thing Yeah, that's Fair, kind but of fell out of favour there. Who do you? I mean, who does he go in for? I guess he slots in for um, Neo Kore at twelve. Mm, I don't. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I mean, I do agree. He was one of the Warriors' best last season. Um, yeah, well, un- until what mid-season where he kind of yeah, fell out of favour or just he didn't have some he, he did have injury. Issues, he did yeah. have injury issues. Oh, he, there's a bit of a he's under investigation. He's at a bit the of moment. a prick. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. It's he's cancelled, all right. He's done. Um, I hate Kalen Ponger in the halves, but to fit Miller in, yeah, maybe makes sense. I think he's going to kick on Ponger. I think this is the year. He, this is his year to establish himself as a as a half. I mean, he's, he's That's, definitely already established as a star, but as a half, I just don't know. This is the team for him to to do that, and I I rate Miller. Obviously, he's only had a few showings which were really good for the sharks um as we have touched on already a heimel hunt selection yeah big ahead greg of is fucking yeah it's baffling how is greg not starting he's a fucking cannon absolutely baffling he must i don't him and dom young would have been my favorite wing appearing in the comp for how good he was and at the titans and the fact that he didn't start a lot there just suggests that something is off there which defense definitely is a factor but yeah 100 you'd think You'd think they'd give him the chance. Uh, may, may, maybe they've just given him too many chances to work it out. But I mean, that can't be the case at the Knights. He's only just got there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you got Tuala as well in centre, which is fine as um, Gagai's gag out. Tuala's solid. Bradman best is the weird one there. Like when he's on, he's a fucking beast. But when he's off, he's just like a waste of space. But yeah. Against those centres, he might get a hat trick. <laughs> um, very, very interested to see how Jackson Hastings goes. Yeah, and actually, I, I I've always hated the knights, but I hope he goes well, and I'm kind of following the I, knights. I with kind a bit of like this knights. A team. bit of enthusiasm this yeah. season, which is very strange to say out loud. Even big Lachlan Fitz bitch, as I used to refer to him as, is the absolute man, <laughs> and Kurt man as well. As a, I like him as a, a little all he playing is lock. Solid, yeah. But um, the fact they left Jack Johns out means they can go and get fucked. Yeah, and Tyson Gamble. I, I think. After they settle down and surely dump fucking Phoenix Crossland, Jack Johns and Tyson Gamble could be really solid off the bench for them. Hmm, and Big Croaks once he's back as well. Moving on, mate. Panthers, uh, Broncos. Panthers, Broncos. This I, is a tough one. I was initially going Panthers to destroy them, but on paper, the Broncos don't look horrible. Nah, I lost all interest in the game once Reese Walsh was ruled out. I only really wanted to see how he'd go in a like yeah, but high I'm pressure, high kind quality. of interested to see how bad Cobbo is at fullback. I mean, he'll be terrible. He yeah. will be terrible. Um, it does give Arthur's a chance, which is pretty well deserved. He had a very solid season for the yeah. Warriors last year. Um, always enjoy watching Herbie Farnworth. Uh, Billy Walters at hooker is a weird one for Broncos. No, I don't hate it. He's probably the best hooker, to be honest. Every Broncos fan is laughing in my face right now but I, I think he's solid and Corey Jensen pretty weak starting prop for me too yeah he's just stock stand today eh? he's not gonna knock your house over but he's just <laughs> fucking yeah well I mean that's 
Is right. That's pretty much what <laughs> I <laughs> see. <laughs> um, Marty Tapel was actually really good in the trial against the Cowboys, and it was pissing me off. So it'd be interesting to see if he keeps that up, or if he turns into what James Tamo looked like for us. Yeah, over the hill piece of shit. Good luck with that. By the way, we'll get to it very soon, but potentially the worst bench in the league. Uh, <clears throat> for now, for now. Uh, I'm going Panthers via demolition. Yeah, me too. But I'm not as confident as I was. Their team doesn't... They've, they've got a few changes, which actually you, you kind of question them. Mitch Kenny is the man. It'd be interesting to see how he goes in the starting role too. Yeah, but also if he, for some reason, whatever reason, is off, um, Sonny Luke has shown a lot in his yeah, opportunities. Uh, next game, Seagulls versus Bulldogs. This might be the toughest game of the round. For me. Yeah, to pick, yeah, yeah. Um, again, if it's the Tommy Turbs Seagulls of 2021, they'll destroy them. But if it's anything reminiscent of last season, the Bulldogs could destroy them. I'll tell you a couple of things I really rate about the Seagulls is that I think Saab's injured. I don't rate that, but I think it's good for them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they've increased the win- chances of winning by 50% because Saab has a broken leg. <laughs> and also, um, what was his name? Morgan Harper? Yeah. Um, he really turned he, to dog shit yeah, last season. Off. So I think the fact he's out is, is also good for them. Oh, well, but he doesn't have the moustache to put the fear in the eyes of the Bulldogs. Yeah, it doesn't put fear in the... That match just makes someone have smashed uh, the crap times. out of him, which happened, especially <laughs> in the latter it. half of last season, yeah. a lot. Um, I was high on the Bulldogs, and now I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I, de- I feel like I definitely overhyped them. Kerem looked like a scared little puppy dog at fullback in, was it the All-Stars game? Yeah. Um, Carrez, yeah. Everillo in the centres, Nah. Alamotti, not sure. Well, I, I don't understand why the Avarillo experiment at centre didn't work last time, so why? No. And then he played so impressively he f- at fullback. He failed in the halves, he failed miserably in the centres, and then he was actually really good at fullback. And they were just he like, was, he was great. It. And now they've just gone and fucking put him back to centre. I, I, mean, I hate that. If Pyram ends up being a beast at fullback, then yep, you're a genius. But at the moment, it doesn't look like a good move. No. Nah. But um, I mean, again, though, their recruits. Their recruitment's been so good. M- Mahoney yeah. and at hooker. And uh, big I think I honestly think Kikau's going to have a massive season. He could. Um, the he real could. shock of the Bulldogs team selections was for Manu Brown. Yeah, but I kind of like it. I rate it. When I he came in last year, he was actually really good. Really good. I, I think he's going to be in the same sort of vein as Kurt Mann. Yeah. A really good ball playing um, lock. So. Yeah, it'd be interesting. This is an interesting game. The benches are both really weird too. So there's a lot of shit to kind of work out here. Jaden Tanner, Franklin Pele. Yeah, um, young guys. Kyle Weeks. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting. I Apparently Preston, Jacob Preston for the Bulldogs was quite impressive in the trials, hence his, his name. Yeah, in. okay. Oh, I didn't even see his on there. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I think Seagulls edge them, but it's a very interesting game. I think even I ended up going Seagulls in the end, but I... Yeah, and that's even after, right? Yeah, as soon as I said Tommy Turbs was fit, I... Big up to... the Bulldogs. Yeah, the t- Turbs is a difference, but also um, a kind of underrated um, player for the Seagulls who's been in good form is Garrick. He's yeah. really been performing He's well. a smoky for me for most points this year, to be honest. And just before we move on, um, Cooper Johns had a good preseason. Yeah, pumped. I'm pumped that he gets a chance. Even though Schuster, I quite like Schuster as well. Um, I like Cooper Johns and he's... He's pretty underrated. It's like we've said before, man. Um, Schuster's had a lot of injuries for a young guy. It's yeah, getting a bit of a bit of a worry, bit of a problem for the Sea Eagles. All right, now for the game of the round. <laughs> and this yeah. isn't this isn't biased. It's almost like you're a one-eyed Cowboys. This is fan. not biased. The Cowboys are going to demolish the Raiders. Absolutely yeah. fist them. I agree. I wouldn't put it that way, but I agree. No, you, you'll put it that way. Mm. When you start Danny Levi at hooker, when you've got two young prodigy hookers in your team, you're asking to get spanked. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. Um, one of them is going to leave for sure. You know what else is nuts? Starting Sebastian Chris at fullback. Yeah, it is. I I'm not saying he's a bad player. I'm not going to say But if you've watched him play nuts. centre, I'm gonna he's s- not a fullback. I'm going to say it's weird. I'm not going to say it's nuts. It's nuts. You've got Nick Kotrick, who's played fullback and was a freak in the 20s at fullback. You've got Harley Smith Shields, 
and Jordan Rapana, who have all played there, and you're putting Sebastian Chris, the big, terrible footwork centre there. Here's the thing, though. Doesn't make sense. Ricky Stewart's been there a long time, so, you know, he's clearly a guy who knows what he's doing. Also, I no. feel like it might be the old bait and switch. That could definitely be the case, but if he stays with this lineup, he's he's fucking lost the plot. I, I imagine he won't. I, I, I would say come game time, Rapana will be back there, Smith Shields will be on the wing, and Chris will be at centre. You'd imagine that, but yeah, it's, it's but, fucking baffling. Yeah, there's not a lot to like um, about the Raiders. To drop Zach Wolford to reserves yeah. for like, how old is Danny Levi? Probably 100 now. Um, that's fucking yeah, not insane. Yeah, 99 I think, yeah. Um, Cowboys, this, their team never changes. They're just always the same old shit. Their bench, I don't like. Um, their bench, honest, honestly, not even saying it to rile you up, oh, is um, right up there with the worst. Without Neem, if Neem wasn't on that bench, that's easily the worst bench. Yeah, but you've got to remember, we've got injuries. In the league. We're missing fucking... It, we're missing Mitch Dunn. We're missing Helam Lukey. Yeah, yeah, but... Jack Gazuski just got injured. I'm not saying he's great, but he's another guy that's out. I'm just saying it does say something about depth when you've got some guys like that. Nah. Filling out the bench. It's most definitely not the worst bench, but it's it's going to improve. It's fucking... It's dreadful, though. Uh, I also hate Cohen Hess at 11. Yeah, I don't know about that move. Yeah, it's weird. We lost Tommy Gilbs, and they've just kind of replaced him with Hess, but... He's just kind of been all over the show why the, the last fuck, year or two. Why would they not put Cotter there? Why would they not just swap him and Cotter? That's weird. Because Cotter's a workhorse in the middle. Yeah, but I mean... And Hess, Cohen, his kick pressure is literally one of the best in the comp. Hess is great, has been great in, in prop. He's just... I don't know. I don't know. He started at back row and was an amazing, so maybe he catches that form, but... Defensively and like yeah, his kick pressure easily one of the best you'll see. All I will say about the Raiders in terms of where they stand out is their back row is really solid. Yeah, and I I rate I've always rated um Hadawira Nida too. Yeah, so he's good. Don't. Whitehead's well, I don't know how over the hell he is now, but he's always been pretty solid as well. Hudson Young is underrated as fuck. Really, and all, actually, um, the Raiders bench is really. De- I don't really know Marty Yota, but yeah, he's, other than that, I think he's. Just, I think he's a rookie. Pretty, d- like, Stalling and Horsburgh are yeah, phenomenal really interchange good. players. Gawler's not bad. He always had bigger reps in 20s, but he's still not solid. I mean, anyway, he's, he's still not Raiders solid. by 20. Ooh! No, no, no. Jacks, jacks, jacks. Um, Cowboys via demolition job. Yeah, easy. So here's my $100 on them. Oh. Um, Sharks, Rabbitohs is probably actually the game of the round. Yeah, um, that's, losing Nico Hines though the Sharks. That's actually that might actually be the toughest one to pick. I think in the end I did go with the Rabbitohs because of I, the Nico yeah, Hines factor. Yeah, I changed factor. to them too because of that. Um, Braden Trindle's just not that great. He's not bad, Trindle. Yeah, but he's not that great. <laughs> no, but he's not um, bad. Not really any shock inclusions. No, it's pretty. I mean, the Sharks are pretty stock standard these days, really. You know what? looking at this now the Rabbitohs might have the worst bench in the league mm, theirs is not good um, the Cowboys won shits on theirs but they've got Taff who, who's good sometimes Cheekham sucks Moali mm, Shikai sucks so yeah Mitchell I don't know not too he's come on a bit since uh, oh, right. I wouldn't he say he plays like 8 minutes yeah, if he's lucky yeah. and he's fucking out of, he's out of breath yeah I don't know that um, Sharks NRL. bench McInnes in Wade Brain's obviously over it. Kafusi and Jack Williams is really solid. Um, yeah, Williams has only come into that for some reason too. Can't remember why. But yeah, I'm going Rabbitohs. I think it it'll be close. But I'm going Rabbitohs. I, I almost. Whew, I don't know. I'll, that if, if I'm gonna change my tipping on a game, it might be that one. I'm not. Yeah, I'm really yeah, not I'm sure about that. Because um, uh, with another that like. Two, two other factors in that game too. I mean, Latrell um, has the class edge on a lot of those guys, but also um, Cameron Murray, man. Far yeah. out. He's been, he, he might be the best player in the team. He's been in crazy form. Yeah. Like last season and pre-season yeah. this year. Origin, he's just, yeah, he's insane. He's on fire. Um, um, game of the round. Ra- <laughs> <laughs> Blowout of the round. I've, I'm literally going... Roosters to score like 60 
or Oof. at least win by like 30. Christ, first game of the season even? Yeah. Well, the, so, well, the, the defense has to suck, right? You're a brand new team. You wouldn't have got anything down pat yet. Yeah, well, here's, here's something I'll put to you that I thought about the, the Dolphins this year. So ma- maybe they'll pick up a lot of fans because they just want the new team to do well, right? Yeah. Maybe, and then, like, where are they? They originate Redcliffe. So, and Redcliffe's always had, like, a junior development system, right? So they've always had pathways. Yeah, but it don't mean shit. It's still a whole brand new team. No, but what I'm saying is, so they always participated in Queensland Cup, yeah, Redcliffe. Yeah. And they, so they, and they've always had, like, a selection, like a core group of young players to, to pick, to pick from. Yeah. To form the Redcliffe team that that took part in that. Well, how many of those guys? are even in this Dolphins yeah, like NRL team. Pretty like, much none of them. The reason I can't, like, I can't get behind this team, I mean, I don't necessarily hope they do well or bad, but I can't get behind them because they're just a hodgepodge of random guys yeah. who have been pulled from here, it's there, like and everywhere. It's like selected outcasts from across the entire league and yeah. put them in a team and been like, hey, go Exactly. Play. So, that, that like, there's nothing fun about them to me. If Like, I would want to see, like, a bunch of young guys who I didn't really know, or maybe who I did know but knew like they were always kind of fringe or they never really got an opportunity to start. But like when I look at their team on paper, um, it, it just looks like an NRL outcast team. It literally does. It like featuring just Hammer and Ray Stone. Doesn't excite me at all. Like I hope the young half Katoa does well because I'd hate to see him just get absolutely hammered in his debut season. He's gonna and he'll like guys like him will be thrown under the bus and probably changed immediately yeah. for the Milfords and stuff of the team so I mean Milford being left out is a great yeah, call really for me yeah. I was surprised and Gilbert at lock as well I really like yeah I like Gilbert I was surprised to see um a that Ray Stone was on the bench I yeah. thought he'd be a starter it and sucked. B I thought Conley Limuelu would be on the I bench was, I was shocked I had him for fantasy I thought he was going to be starting somewhere yeah I didn't think I uh, again I didn't see heaps of preseason but what I did see he was really good last he, year for the Cowboys he didn't look the, too bad the later stages uh, also they've named a guy who I think was Big Kurt yeah Donago yeah Donahue Donahue Donago uh, apparently he played with Katoa as well but don't know anything about him uh, uh, good luck either, to, him. to be honest. He might be the one actual standover from Redcliffe. Yeah, but yeah, that's that was basically my point. Is that I mean, there's not a lot to do with Redcliffe in there, as far as I can tell. No, um, um, Roosters. Yeah, Suwali in centre. I think he's gonna have a massive game. Corey Allen at centre could be really good, or it could just be Corey Allen failing to be good at rugby league again. I mean, he should be able to play well in that team. But then I said the same about. The dogs, or the... No, no, what's... Oh, Momorowski, but uh, he didn't excel at all with them yeah, last weirdly. season. But then uh, they didn't play that great um, last season either. Um, again, with the shit benches, uh, Roosters, definite competitors. In that yeah, but they've got a few injuries. Competition. Um, yeah, I mean, if you could say anything about the Roosters, it's that that Alan Paulo side is a little weak, but... but they're missing Joey Manu, so once he's back, they're going to look pretty good. Exactly. Angus Crichton out as well. Or Crichton, however you want to fucking say it. I mean, it's Crichton. A lot of people say Crichton. Uh, I think he might be He might be looking at a whole season out. Yeah, Crichton. Yeah. He's, um, he's got bipolar. Oh. Yeah. Actual? Or? Yeah, he's got bipolar, so he's out for bipolar oh, reasons. Is it diagnosed? Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I just thought it was mental health issue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> without is. like a without like a. It's the mental health. I don't think there was a confirmed. No, your bipolar is confirmed. Diagnosis. Um, Tigers Titans. This could actually be a fun game to watch, even though it's going to be bad, bad footy. Um, I'm going Tigers in this one because I just fucking don't like the Titans team whatsoever. Yeah, I think I'm doing the same. Uh, What I will say about the Titans, though, is that I actually am kind of looking forward to watching them. Yeah, Yeah, like they'll be interesting and there's a few key exciting players, but I I don't like like, how they run their shit. (laughs) I like, yeah. Do they have a new coach or no? You'd hope so. Um, Can you remember? 
But they go through fucking coaches like they do undies over there. I'm looking forward to it before, like, the same sort of reason what I was just touching on with the Dolphins. Like, they've got a lot of young guys, like Cam Pereira, Jojo Fafita, Aaron Shoup, yeah. um, Jamin Jolliffe. So, at least, they've got kind of young guys that you can just sort of, you know, you'll be able to watch and see whether see, they've got any chops yeah, and whether definitely. they might be long-term NRL prospects, things like that. Your boy Brimson at fullback. Yeah, I still don't like Brimson. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I don't rate him as a fullback either. He's so. up and down. Like Actually, no, I really don't fucking rate him as a fullback when you've got Jaden Campbell on the bench. That's mental. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the decision making they make that's is actually honestly crazy. Fucking, that's actually fucking mental. And I've already said I can't stand the signing of Kieran Foran. He'll he'll probably get injured this game and be done for the season. Possibly. Uh, I have higher hopes for him. I yeah. have higher hopes for him. I, he, I he's like, only immune if he's a seagull. If he's I liked his. Seagull, he's I liked garbage. his season last season, and I liked his preseason. So I'm I'm hopeful that he'll do all right for them. Tanner Boyd also isn't too bad. Nah, but don't rate it. Sam Verrills is an interesting one for me. Again, he's. Yeah. He's, injury prone he's the guy who'll get injured straight But if away. he doesn't, I'd love to see why he's always got such massive reps. Because he hasn't he still hasn't really proven that he's elite or like really no, good. No, because he's injured all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I I really can't I'm just trying to work the cogs out in my head now of why you wouldn't have Brimson as your bench guy with Campbell starting at the back. Because Brimson's an origin level player when he's on. No, he's not. Well, he's, he, he's literally played he's, Origin. I know, but he's not to me. I don't think when he's, he's on, he is really good. I don't think he's he just hasn't been on for a very long near time. Origin level, but I, I think he's more versatile than Campbell, which is why that would make more sense to me. Well, he's a fullback half, right? Campbell would get destroyed in the halves. Like, yeah, but that's what I mean. What are they intending to do with Campbell from the bench? I don't know. That might be another swap before game time. I feel like it will be. Because that's just weird. But he can only swap to fullback, and then Brimson would go in for Boyd, probably. But, yeah, it's, it's just weird. They shouldn't be doing dumb shit like that. And the Tigers actually don't look that bad on paper, other than shit stains on the wing. Um, yeah, no, uh, you know, weirdly, um, a guy who stood out in what I saw of the trials was uh, Brent Naden. Yeah, he's actually pretty solid. Weirdly, Naden. so... Well, he's not got cocaine stuffed in his nostrils. Maybe he did, maybe that's why he well, did so be. well. Yeah, true. Um, I've like, um, Sean Blah! <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know much about him. He'll be... There was a few Blahs. I, I don't know if he's one of the three brothers. It was Sean Dean and someone, I believe. Well, But they were always pretty him. solid, so... Are these the same then? Obviously, of a lot of interest to a lot of people will be Cottesau to see whether he yeah. brings that Panthers yeah, form. I, I think he falls off. He's got he's got his pay payday. He's done. Um, also, Papa Lee, man, just he's played out yeah. of his skin the last couple of seasons. Yeah, yeah. The so. Tigers could be uh, a decent watch this year as well. Um, Dane Laurie needs a big season to it. Fullback, for yeah. Them. Needs um, to and find some consistency. Adam Dewey is actually one of my favourite halves. Um, in the comp, so I hope he does well. Um, to watch or as a person? To to watch. I think he's a really good yeah, player. Yeah. Really good. He's um, fuck, though. And, and, and what will be a shock to many people, the Dragons are going to get two points this week. Because <laughs> they've got the bye. Wait, they're going to get half of their points for the year this week? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, that could turn up to be true. I'm actually so happy that they're the first team to get a bye. Why? Oh, because you don't want to watch them no, play? No, because I don't want to fucking see the state of them. Yeah, that's true. Horrific. Um, right, that's that. We're going to jump over to a little bit of a triv for you. Sure, yeah. All right, um, let's go. Your one last week was fucking good. I can't remember what it was, but I was, I was stumped. Uh, it was the... Oh, the try scoring. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. I'll I... tell you right now, you're about to pay me back. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Right. Yeah. And Another done. can of golden... Max. Pash? What's it called? Golden Pash? M- what is it? Mid Vicious. Alright. Um, trivia this week. I'm gonna st- it's a slow burn. I'll start it off slow, and there's a, about a hint at the end that you're just going to go, ah, I know who this is. Oh, good, so I will get it somehow. You, you pretty much have to get it if you don't. Jeez. Um, so, I debuted in 2008. Oh. I was a one-club man finishing my career in 2015. And I was the equal leading try scorer of the comp in 2013 with two other players. Oh boy. Any clues or hints? He played for one club, he debuted in 2008. So 
Yeah, so finished in 2015. Yep. 2013, he was the leading, leading try scorer. With two others. Two other players. Oh boy. Um. 2008. Uh, how Any old? like loose guesses? No, nah, not really. I'm trying to. 2008 was. Was that the year? Did I end high school then? So I should know. Oof. Um, Dinosaur. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it. Um, nah, not, nothing right off the bat right. that jumped the, the out The two to me. players he was tied with were George Tafua and Michael Jennings. So if you can remember when they were Tafua good. Tafua and Jennings, holy shit. Oh, what about... What about... Um, Uate? Mamma mia! Oh, damn, was he a one club guy? Uh, no, he played for Knights and then... Didn't he play for like... Storm for a little bit or something? Ah, damn, I only remember the Knights. Um, okay, I played two games for the Blues and two games for Australia in 2008 and 2009, respectively. Wait, so he played on day de- on his debut season? Uh, must have, yeah. 2008 and 2009, yeah, for the Blues and Aussie. Yes. Oh, I don't know if it was what year it was, but in 08 and 09, he had two games for Origin and two games of International. Wasn't, um, wasn't Anthony Quinn? Oh, whoa, 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 hmm. I scored 66 tries in my career, and I even kicked four goals. Four goals? Yeah, Quinn, he definitely wouldn't have. He might not have even played Origin, Quinn, but I seem to recall him. I'm pretty there. sure he had a game for the Blues. So he had a couple internationals and origins but he didn't really kick on after that so it's probably going to be a new south winger I'm thinking but I can't they have had a lot of players who sort of didn't stick around too long because they kept getting <laughs> hammered and they just kept changing um, this one might help I won the premiership in 2008 oh 2008 I think that's literally the year I started drinking so that means that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't help probably means I was blind most NRL games I saw won the premiership 2008 um, yes. geez I'm really bad with years so like I'll know like a lot of teams that have won but I'll f- totally forget, forget exactly what one. year it was um, but played for the Blues um, Oh, who did I just have in my head before? It's totally gone now. Uh, no, nah, keep them coming. Keep okay, them coming. there's about... Well, yeah, there's a couple left. My older brother played in the NRL for four different teams. Hmm. And he was also a winger. Oh, there's a wing. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, older brother. Um... It's not Michael Jennings. No, you said that this person was tied oh, with Michael tied Jennings. With him. As him and who? Um, to George Tafua. Tafua. Him and Tafua. Um, was it? Wasn't the Wolfman? The Wolfman. Oh, ah, yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he would have kicked the goals, but I mean, he had four goals, and weirdly, him and Tafua were on the same team, so they both ah. had, I think it was 20 Did, tries Oh, is that the year they won? Is that the year they smoked Storm? In 08 it was, yeah. But ah. the year they got it was 2013, they both had 20 tries apiece with Jennings to lead the ah. try scorers. Makes sense, and so... Like John Williams' brother, played for the Mighty Cowboys at one stage. I forgot about the brother. Yeah, I, I was just, might have, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just stabbing in the dark. <laughs> I, I did not remember his him having a brother. I remember all. there was a one game where John and the Wolfman both kicked a goal at the same time, or both scored a try at the same time, but in different games, ah. or something like that. Um, the Wolfman, eh? Like, it's so funny the evolution of the winger. Like, the Wolfman would be horrible in today. today's game. Yeah, he'd be pathetic. He was like a good skinny burn. Yeah. <laughs> Wolfman. Well, he came on. He debuted in 08. They won the comp and he made Origin in 
Aussie and all of that, and he kind of just dropped off for That's a bit. That's what I was thinking. But then in 2013, he came back and got 20 fucking tries. That's what I was th- I was like, yeah, he would make sense as one of those guys who they just threw in there to try try him out. Yeah. And then, he was having such team success, though, like, hey, maybe he'll... He was... He's a classic ways. guy, too. Like, from the outside, even before you named him in those teams, you should have been able to really realise he's a product of Manly's success. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Um, my last one was going to be, I have a unique nickname given to me because of my shaggy hair and beard. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was literally the last clue. That was a good, yeah, that was a good trivia. I thought the, the um, Tafua would have thrown you off because you would have been like, well, I won't be a Manly player. Nah, I just couldn't. No, they, they both I was just trying point. to think of guys who scored a lot of tries around that time. <laughs> I, I, I guess Jennings, even though he was one of them. <laughs> um, but it definitely wasn't a can of beer that I opened yeah. up before. <laughs> definitely not. Nah, yeah. Pretty honest with it, mm, not at all. Uh, fantasy team, yeah. How long have we been going? 35. Okay, I'm just gonna read all these off and then done. You don't have to cut that by the way, just leave it in, it'll be yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> sorry, mum. No cutting here. Um, <laughs> my starting team will go, we'll go pl- position for position, eh? Yeah, go for it. So, my Let's hooker, go. big Robbie Robson. Oh, you went with your boy, yeah. Um, I also went for a bit of an outside one um just because it's i always find it hard every year to fit the team under the cafe yeah, so it kind of sucks i've actually gone with wade egan because mm. i i think the warriors are going to do okay and i don't think he has a lot of competition for, for the, his spot, the yeah. spot yeah he, he is really good too he just hasn't uh, always translated to fantasy yeah he definitely needs to kick on like he'll have to play better than he has in the past to rack the points up but also with a better team it could could work out he's one of those ones that i don't mind risking on and like burning later if need yeah, be yeah fair enough um who have you got for your middle um ah oh, the first guy on the team sheet for me murray yeah cameron murray yeah, yeah had to be enough. um i went well my first one here i went for cotter and i'm not being biased those are my only two cowboys but i think cotter if he stays injury free um again just workhorse all right and what, what have you got james tamo next no, God no. <laughs> um, no, I mean I don't. I, the, the thing that puts me off him is the injuries. Like he's definitely yeah. got an got an injury in him. Yeah, for sure. Um, my next one after that's um, actually uh, Gilbert, Tommy Gilbert. Yeah, I've got Tommy Gilbert too. Yeah, had to like it's his opportunity in a starting role. Like he yeah. scored well off the bench yeah. last time. Versatile round, so. as well because he's a middle and edge, and he's only what five. Yeah, five hundred and something he's thousand. Pretty, so pretty cheap. He's good, yeah, good there. I've got um, Jackson Ford as my other one. Ah, yeah, I think he's in my yeah, he's on my bench. So he's pretty cheap, middle edge as well, and I think he's gonna have a blinder for the Warriors this season. Um, I reckon I've got some value here, and, and so you, anyone listening, uh, you one or two people, um, <laughs> if you're not bots, <laughs> um, here you go. You can have this one for free. I've got Brandon Smith because you can pick him. Um, as an edge yeah yeah i kind of hate it though why i reckon it's yeah, well it depends. I don't know. here's the only thing that will fuck it is if they give drew hutchison valuable minutes well that's the <laughs> thing is you never know of those guys because they do some weird shit but yeah. also i feel like he could just have multiple hias oh i don't think um, so i think so it's, it's either going to be really good or really bad i reckon my my edge um forwards are what a <laughs> <laughs> Real risky. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I've got Nat Butcher as my first edge. Uh, I don't mind it. I did. Um, I did look at him. I think without Crit- Crichton, Crichton, there, he's going to be the main main go-to guy, and he actually scored quite a few tries last year. I had him in my team last year, but he fell off big time yeah. as the season went on. I think the whole Roosters team did though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I went with Bo Firma. I've just got a mm. fucking. I, I've got a soft spot for him. I think you got a firm one for him. <laughs> got a firm yeah. one for him. Um, I I just I think he's fucking underrated. He's yeah, yeah. like super he's solid. Better than Fafita. <laughs> super solid attacker and defender. Um, he's got an offload in him. Like yeah. he does have a knock on in him and a couple of discipline um, issues. But I mean, fucking most definitely worse. most of those top players yeah. kind of do these days. I because I, I, I modified my team yesterday so. Um, I actually added Garner to my team just because mm. well, for money issues, but also 
I don't know if he's going to be really good for the Panthers, but if, even if he's just a solid 40 points and he's starting for them, I mean, if he goes half as well as Kakao did in some of his seasons, he could have a fucking ripper. He's on my bench. I'm not entirely convinced I'm going to keep him there at this stage. I don't know if, like, even though it is cheap, I don't know if I can justify a $478,000 yeah. risk. Yeah. And they've had good players in those positions in the past, uh, like, uh, all made at the Broncos. No idea. Broncos oh, captain. Yeah, Capewell. Capewell, who's a good player, but never really, like... He's not really a fantasy-type player, though, Capewell. Neither is... Well, Garner has been in the past. If he just hits the holes and gets some tries, I think he could be. But of course, the other worry with Garner is injuries. Yeah. Um, I've got... And this is one who I added late. Um, I've gone with Kikau. Kikau at the Dogs. Uh, oh, is it, is it an edge? Yep. Yep. I think... I think he's got a, like, a real opportunity to show how good he is here. Yeah. Whether he sees it that way, I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, he was scoring good points on the on the Panthers. And at the Bulldogs, I think he's going to have to work harder to stand out. Yeah, but also, I feel he's got worse halves to work with. It, oh, it could so be. So you might not get the sort of opportunities it could be to, Cleary yeah. and Aluai could have got you. But he could, I don't know. He could decline. So that's another bit of a gamble. Yeah, it's tough. Pick for me. Um... First person on my team sheet, Cameron Munster. Yeah, same. Oh, yep, nice. Well, I mean, he's the second after... <laughs> yeah, obvious reason. <laughs> after Murray, but yeah, um, he's Paired with Tamaiti Martin. Yeah, it's not a not a bad shot. I've actually got Tamaiti in um, the wing fullback spot. Mm, nice. Um, so I've got uh, Dearden pairing with Munster. Ooh. So I, I love Dearden. I think Dearden. he... He definitely um, is another guy who sort of went a little bit quieter the longer the season went on last season. But If they start to give him more responsibility, I think it's a good shout. But I, Which, f- I feel like Chad dictates a lot of the, yeah, the play. Yeah, so he I does, but I, I quite rate the like um, Peyton and the coaching staff at the Cowboys. I think they'll realise that you know Townsend's not going to be there forever, so they've really got to start... Giving Dad and more yeah. responsibility now, but it is after the success last year. It is kind of a win now situation as well. So you don't want to look too far to the future if you've got a chance to win in the present. Yeah, I don't know that they do, but yeah, definitely they're do. obviously playing to win. They so. came, what, what did they come last year? Third. <laughs> they're not. They're not crazy. Um, um, centers. Yeah, real stinky on my end. What you got? Well, I've got Alamotti. Yep, same. Head to. Um, I was going for fucking. Um, Joey Manu, but he's he's out for God knows how long. So I've oh actually I, yeah I swapped him to Val Holmes. So that was my third cowboy. Ah yeah, I considered Holmes, but I couldn't afford it. Yeah, I went to I didn't again. I think I'm gonna swap out from Holmes. I think he's gonna destroy the Raiders round one, and then I'm gonna change and keep the cash. But mm-hmm. don't know. That's a tough call in week one, just on one week. I'm just waiting for Manu. Really. I've, I've rounded it out with Naden. Um, moving right along to oh, He's cheap, he's just cheap. Is I he? Thought. I thought he was quite expensive. Nah. Oh, okay. That's all right then. He's in the two, two hundred thousands. Um, I just thought if by some fluke he carries that, um... Yeah, I mean he could. Pre-season form on, he, he might get some aura. Round one, he's definitely got a good opportunity. Not expecting anything massive from him, but I always view centres as like, you just chuck a couple cheapies who you yeah. think might go alright. They, they never average high. And, unless well, they like Mitch the Orbison. top tops do. <laughs> unless it's a Mitch that, Orbison that's who's I, like That's what I miss, you used to be able to put those yeah. second rowers, um, in there. That always, I, I love that. Yeah. I had Jed Cartwright initially. He's at the Bunnies. He's a centre and back rower. He won't play right. He, he played a few games last season. He averaged about 37 or something. He's cheap as chips, but he's, he's in fucking reserves. Yeah. Uh, what you, who you got at the back? I've got Nickel Clockhead. Uh-huh. I've, I had him in and out probably two or three yeah. times. Yeah. Um, this was another late change for me. I've gone to Suwali. Oh. So he's my nice. making up for Joey Manu. And then I've got Latrell Mitchell. Oh, oh, you've yeah. gone big. You've gone yeah, big. Huh? i got the aforementioned to Mighty Martin. Um, he's another one who might not be there the whole time, depending on when Metcalf comes back and, and how good he's going. Yeah, he's cheap enough, though. Uh, i got Taruva for the Panthers. Taruva, Jamaica. <laughs> I just think he'll be probably on the end of a lot of um, back plays. 
and tries. Yeah, Taylor May esque. But you know, uh, remains to be seen. And uh, my top dog back is uh, Scotty Drinks. Ooh, so now he's got the Cowboys hard on, mate. Me? Yeah. And it's just flipped yeah, the table. drinks. I fucking love Drinky. Um, yeah, he's good. He's and good And early, early indication seem to be that he's going to be firing on all cylinders like last season. You'd saw fucking some, hope so. Saw some pretty good shit from him um, in the preseason. I think he might even be better than he was last season. He, the only thing with him is he's got like a, a month or two spell in him where he just falls off. Yeah, he's got an error in him too, but I mean, I suppose like when, he's when you're on, fullback he's on. and you're handing the ball that much, I mean, that's and, and he's like a playmaking fullback too, so that shit's yeah. gonna happen. Um, okay, bench. Yeah, the aforementioned um, Ford and Garner, mm. um, and rounded it out with another surprise, surprise gamble. I've gone with Mitch Kenny. Yeah, I, I I debated that bastard for so long. Yeah, very cheap. Yeah, but depends how how many minutes um saying. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Also, yeah, like maybe maybe not necessarily your atypical good scoring fantasy hooker. Well, he would like he is a workhorse, but yeah, offensively, I don't know if you'll get the opportunities. And yeah, with Luke coming, and I feel like he's going to be the offensive side of that role. Eh? So yeah, I don't it'll be know. it'll be interesting. But to me, it was worth the risk. Well, I've got Reed Mahoney, so Whoa. I win that battle. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think Reed's going to be an origin hooker this what year. If, what if he starts like he started at the No, end? no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, also, a eh, bit of an injury in him. bit of an injury in him. A little bit, but nah, he's going to be origin this this season. I've got Ali Katoa. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I... I flirted with the idea of that for fucking ages. Yeah, I squeezed him in and Sean. Blah! Yeah. Two hundred and fifty k. If he's yeah. good, he's good. If he sucks, see you later. I wasn't sure there, eh? I yeah, I really wasn't sure. And then after my abuse of the poor old boy, I've gone and put Danny Levi in as my last pick. <laughs> now I win. <laughs> <laughs> Which that was Mitch Kenny, but then I ran out of money to get um. Katawa in there, so I've gone to Danny Levi, and he's he's on the fence. He he might stay. He might be changed overnight. Yeah, I, my last bench spot's still open, so yeah. I haven't confirmed it. I, I've got a guy who I want, who I can't afford, but <laughs> I really I m- might have to work something to get yeah. him in. Um, Those last few spots just. It took me about half an hour yesterday, and I was just getting pissed off. So I went, ah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, doing I, get, this. I get very frustrated. With um, it now you, you uh, reserve reserves. Yeah, did you round out with all cheapies? I rounded out with all cheapies. So yes. I've got Preston, Khan, Pereira, Warbrick, and Katoa. Nice. I've got Katoa, Warbrick, Hayes, Perham, who's oh. slightly over a cheapie, and then Harley Smith Shields. Wow, Perham's not a bad one to be able to slot into your... Yeah, I... I you might end up having to burn him, though, to get someone else in your... Possibly. Um, but if he has a blinder, you know, he might have week one, get 60 points, he might jump 30k, mm. and then I can burn him off after that. Yep. We'll see. Um, yep, not a bad shout at all. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, jump on the multi. I've got Cowboys, Roosters, point starts. A lot of money to be made. <laughs> What are we sponsored by the TAB? We are, yes. No, bet three six five. And I'll be putting up our predictions. So if you want to jump on the full eight picks, be about fifty k's worth of tipping in there. Wow, and then we'll never have to do a podcast ever again. Boom, done. We'll lose all four of you. I want to give one shout out too. I we discussed we were going to do Super Coach, but you didn't want to do it. No, 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 no. I'm Terrible. doing it only so I can join the Mad Monday podcast group, which I believe is called Mad Monday Munters. <laughs> and anyone can join that group, and uh, they are going to work on some prizes as well, which will be available for... Does that mean every Monday we do the pod and we have a Mad Monday? I mean, I wouldn't say no. You're, you're, going do, you're doing a Mad Wednesday Wait. at the moment. Oh, uh, we can't do a um, NRL style Mad Monday. Uh, otherwise, then we really won't be able to do any more podcasts because we'll probably be in prison. <laughs> right. See you in week eight. All right.